Who was on top? It wasn't a top. There was a couch, and um, Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder. Like, murder. It was murder in there. Like that, it was murdering there. <laughs> Man, shut up! You're saying too much. It's not like, oh, we there's like there's beef right now. If I was doing this without any beef, then it, I shouldn't even be here, right? It, I don't. Be, I, I, there's no. There's no purpose. To, right. There's no purpose down. of being here. So. so there's there's true smoke. Oh, smoke. Oh, we gonna get it. And, oh, it's okay. smoke, smoke. And so, it, it, Will is complicit in Jada's behavior. See, did, I did, agree. See, did, 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 I, like, I agree. Like, like it's it's like if I have a problem with someone's wife, right? You get what you tolerate. So he's right in that one. You shouldn't put these people on a pedestal. Celebrities, my ass, man. F all that nonsense, man. They're just people like you and me. And a lot of them are sissies, as in weaklings, cuckolds, weirdos. You can only be heartbroken by someone when you put them on a pedestal. This Will Smith's former best friend's interview, <sighs> you still have to take it with a grain of salt because he's annoyed. He's, he, he feels betrayed. So there's some animosity in there. So whatever he said, if this was, if this was, was, was court, whatever he says is going to be uh, uh, inadmissible because it might be coming from a biased point of view. But also he's been friends with this guy for over 40 years. So some of what he says might be true. But still, I don't really give a, I don't really give a F. Just want to see what everyone's talking about. That's why I'm just checking it out. I really don't care. You know, Benny Medina hollers down the hall. Well, I'm going to come see you in a minute. So, you know, uh, so he comes up there in a few minutes and he pokes his lips out like he's going to kiss Will. Right. And I'm like, oh, man, I got to beat the shit out of this. Do, I, do we do we pack him out? Like, all right, well, I'll just wait because I'm, you know, I, I don't know this culture. Mm -hmm. Right. And Will kissed this guy on the lips. In front of you. In front of everybody. Nobody does nothing. And I'm like, no, no. I'm just thinking, I'm like a, a deer with the headlights. I'm like, nobody, did y'all just. You know, well, allegedly, Will Smith was Quincy Jones's boy toy. That's how he got the role for the Fresh Prince. He was Quincy Jones's. With your own eyes. With my own eyes. Was it a pucker? Yeah, of course. It was. It was a, it was a kiss. I went with no long romantic movie kiss, but he kissed that man. What I did in the book was um, to to pull more research. Oh, you wrote a book. You wrote a tell-all book, bro. How are you gonna write a tell-all book on your friend? Even if you guys are no friends anymore, man. Loyalty has to mean something, bro. What are you doing, man? Be careful who you keep around you, man. Because <laughs> when you're not cool with them anymore, they're just going to start telling all your secrets. This is not cool. Like, this this is not cool. What this guy's doing is not cool at all. Well, Smith is a weirdo and all that stuff. Jada is a demon. But this guy, what he is doing as well is not cool. You're going to write a tell-all book on your friend. on your Whether he's a former friend or not, man. You just move on. This is not manly at all. You're going to start telling on people like this. Wow. And I just didn't know how to take it coming from Philly and seeing something like that. But with my knowledge of now over That's how they that, that that's how they get break in into the industry. The men. That's how they get that's how they break them in. You know, like if you join a gang where they jump you in, you know, they beat you up. So that's how they jump them in in Hollywood, in Hollywood. That's how they jump they jump the men in. They buck break them. This, this happens. We're having 30 years in the business. It's like, 
okay, this is the grooming. This is how the grooming starts. I didn't know that back then. But now, you know, having to spend decades in L, I'm like, yo, they was grooming him all this time. So after that. They've been grooming him since he was like a teenager. Quincy Jones and him, allegedly. Becomes six, uh, six degrees of separation. And we can get into that a little bit. You know, Will plays a gay guy. But you got to look at how Will uh, prepared for the movie. So he he admits to watching a lot of gay porn to learn how to kiss a man, to learn feminine attributes, right? Um, so I, I find that bizarre. Um, they flew him out to Europe to watch live sex shows, right? And I'm like, yo, this, like, I don't, I'm from Philly. That was a ritual. That was a jumping in ritual. So I'm just like, yeah. this is the, like, he's going in. He's, in his mind, he has to know how a gay man interacts with people, talking, mannerisms, getting ready for a love scene with another man. I'm like, why are you, like, in my mind, I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, why, you, you have a successful TV show. Why go to playing a gay man? Because to go to go to the next level in Hollywood, you have to do that. It's a ritual. And why became, I believe that became his addiction to men. That was the addiction to men because he was in a safe environment, right? And they made that environment safe for him. So whoever he was, he could now become. Which I know he's bisexual. I show, I showed you a couple of things. Yeah. Right? Like, I okay. got proof. I'm not, like I said, once again, I'm Muslim. I cannot say that this man is bisexual. And Again, guys, if you want to commit a crime or do anything, do it by yourself. Because <laughs> one day, someone's going to tell on you like this guy over here. To... Just tell him? On your friend? <laughs> then I saw sexual acts that I, when I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Oh. Isn't that Tisha Campbell's husband or former husband or whatever? All these women know. All, all these women, they know what their husbands get up to. They know. A woman tells you she doesn't know what her husband is doing. She's just choosing not to know. But deep down, a woman's intuition, she knows. Okay. And of course, you know, like I said, Tisha Campbell. Good friend of mine. My sister. Didn't even know. Mm-hmm. That, you know, Dwayne, all, I mean, not Dwayne, Will owned her house with her husband. Yes. Yes. So you walked in. So. Tell me, tell me how you so, came so, so, to. So Will Smith bought him a house that he lived in with his wife? That's a proper relationship right there. You're not buying someone a house unless something's going down. What? I'm not buying you lunch unless something's going <laughs> down. No, so, so, so here's the thing. So me working with Will for a number of years and on a number of movies, this is too right? Much. I went to always tell me that um, as you work for me, you have to build your own relationships because you won't be working for me forever. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm driving, I'm flying on private jets. I'm mm -hmm. standing. Sounds like a good friend. Will Smith is a good person. He's a very nice person. It's just unfortunate things happen to nice people. Everyone, everyone around Will Will Smith made. Everyone around Will Smith, he took with him when he made when, when he got his shine. He set everybody up for life. Can't say the same about P Diddy. Will Smith is a nice person, a genuinely nice person. But you don't have to spend money when you with Will. Okay. Said, Why are you doing this then? Seems like this guy gave you everything. Saved your life from the look of things. Why are you doing this to, to, to Will Smith? Why are you coming here and telling on, on him? Just blabbing on and on. Dwayne Martin. With Dwayne Martin. Well, Dwayne Wade next. Okay. Allegedly. Okay. I always get them mixed up. Okay. I be doing that in my show. I saw that on one of the videos I watched. <laughs> and you had to go home. <laughs> Y'all leave Dwayne Wade alone, man. Just leave the man alone. Whatever it does with his Johnson is nobody's business, man. Y'all just leave him alone, man. People should mind their business. Tell me about the day you woke up and you saw Will Smith and Dwayne Martin in so, bed. So, so. Now, were they both married at the time? Weren't yeah, divorced? Of course. Okay. Um, Bro, you're saying too much. God, please don't deliver me from friends like this. 
because everyone's got their own secret. Everyone's got their skeletons in their closet. Well, if I have a friend like this, just know the day you don't please him, ooh, he's calling the press. <laughs> he's telling on everyone. Man. Trying to, cause, cause trying to sell a book. <laughs> what? It, oh, wow. So I want to see. It's a lot to un. See, it's so much to unpack. That's why. Well, we have nothing but time. Okay. Well, well, ho well. Hopefully, you'll have me back in three weeks as I do more interviews and I share more. So you're just gonna be going on interviews, talking about other people's business. Wow. Or think because it's so much. No, well, well, go ahead. It's, We're it's, here it's, now. Let's talk about today. So, <laughs> so um, you got to know how to cater to egos. You also have to know how to keep your mouth shut. Why didn't they get him to sign a non-disclosure, an NDA? He's talking too much. <laughs> Spilling everyone's secrets. So Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will. You got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where is this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. And I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like I'm trying to find is like, this is, this is unlike him, right? So all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. Who was on top? It wasn't a top. There was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder. Like, murder. It was murder in there. Like that, it was murder in there. <laughs> Man, shut up! You're saying too much. You should have had this guy sign a non-disclosure agreement. He's just talking. He's spewing everything. Whoa! Then up killing him, murder, like murder. It was murder in there. <laughs> okay. What did you do? I I, I froze. <laughs> See, I'm not used to seeing. Listen, it, it's traumatizing. Like to like, I've never seen it. I don't watch gay porn. You know, I never seen a, a man fucking another man. Oh, Will Smith was bent over, and and Dwayne was killing him. Kind of. I don't know. I, I don't. You didn't look that close. Nothing. Listen, I'm even when I was with the Darren hair lights, and I finally said, "Oh shit!" And they turned around, and said, "Close the fucking door!" Right? So I back out the door. I'm not going in there. Fuck no! I ain't going up in there. I back out the door, lock the door. I leave. Right? So um, now I'm off a of walkie-talkie, everything. So it's chaos on the set. Nobody can get in touch with Will. Nobody can get in touch with me. So I said, all right, I got I to gotta leave. Then I said, do I leave or do I stay? So I said, you know what? I'm going to stay. But my position is I didn't see anything, right? So um, Will says, I got to talk to you. So I said, about what? He said, you know what? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And he said, oh, you know what I'm talking. I said, well, I have no idea what are you talking about? What, what we need to finish today? Like, I'm trying to get that out. So he said, no, we need to talk. So he said, listen, um, I made a call. Some papers are going to come here today. I need you to sign them. And I said, I, why am I signing papers? And he said, listen, I'm trying to protect you. I said, yo, I never went back. Moral of the story is, if you're going to do something, 
Make sure this guy is not there. <laughs> this is gonna tell on you. He's gonna tell everything. He is talking way too much. This is too much, man. This is this is Y'all leave Will Smith alone, man. He made his bed, let him lie in it. 